Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. Welcome to the Beyond the Ball podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And today, as we're just watching all this stuff going on with COVID-19, we're watching everything be shut down. We're watching people being quarantined and confined to their own homes. And we're seeing people left and right with masks on, with bandanas covering their face. And people are just trying to decide, do I need to wear a mask? Should I wear a mask? Will this even be protective if I wear this mask, right? And we're seeing all of these things. However, today I want to focus on something a little bit different. I wanted to focus on showing my student athletes today how we stay productive when everything else is slowing down. How do we continue to position ourselves for our future? How do we continue to position ourselves to be in the best light as all this is currently happening and all these places are being shut down, things are being shut down, and we're being socially distanced from our relationships, from our friends, from our teammates, from our coaches. However, we might be physically distanced from them, but I want to increase and I, I want to encourage you in this time to begin to utilize ways that you socially can connect with your peers with your coaches, or even mentors and potential mentors. Because you have different platforms, like you have your LinkedIn's, you have your Instagram's, you have your Twitter's. But when we come to talking about positioning ourselves to become an ultimate professional, and if that be NFL, NBA, et cetera, or if that be a professional in a Fortune 500 company or working behind a desk or whatever that looks like for you, I, I want to encourage you right now in this time is to find an internship. That's right. Find an internship. You can easily, easily, if you have not created a LinkedIn page just yet, I would encourage you to create a LinkedIn page. And from that point, then I want you to get connected with the resources that you have through your institution or even through an academic advisor, beginning to ask them, what are some helpful tools and tips that I can begin to input in my LinkedIn profile that would separate me from some of the competition? I, I recently heard the other day um, when I was on a, I, I was taking time and I was on a virtual boot camp that, that was put on by the University of Michigan in their athletic department. So it was, it was the MAC. That's Michigan Athletic Center, and I will get the specific name just so I don't butcher that um, for, for Michigan. But um, and, and through times, I, I was sitting there and I, and I was listening, and, and then I began to realize that, wow, I'm still learning information from what they're sharing right now. I'm still getting some takeaways. And they began to talk about make sure you have a professional photo in your LinkedIn bio. A nice headshot, something clean, and something that really breaks down who you are. Something people see you and they see your personality through the photo. So I said, okay, wow. Okay, I said, we got that. That's good. That's good. The next thing they said was they talked about the headline, um, which is if you're on LinkedIn, it's the first sentence that you see right under your name. And I was like, okay, that's good. That, that's, that's good information to have. That's good information to have. And then the about section. That they broke down the about section, they began to really discuss, and they really began just to talk a little bit about how this is an opportunity for you to share your story. This is an opportunity for people to connect with you and for you to share a little bit about yourself in your own voice, right? So those three things right there, the professional headshot, uh, the first sentence under your name, which breaks down just a little bit about you. And then the about section, these are truly pivotal 
in a LinkedIn profile. And the reason I'm encouraging you to start a LinkedIn profile, because right now you have more time on your hands than ever before. And I know a lot of us are taking time and we're spending it behind the screen. A lot of us are taking time and we're watching a lot of Netflix. We might even be doing some fitness, doing some workouts and doing different things like that. But at the same time, where are you investing your time to where it will better position you for your future? Right. Begin to ask yourself that question on a daily basis. Where can I invest some time today to where it will help me position myself for success in the future? Right. So, like I said before, that was something that was put on by the University of Michigan, their athletic career center. That's what MAC stands for, Michigan Athletics Career Center. And uh, just those key takeaways that, that I got from them and, and hearing them really break down how to strengthen your profile, how to send your first message, how to connect with professionals through the LinkedIn platform, utilizing LinkedIn to send a message. Utilizing LinkedIn to pull contact information, maybe find former alum, and send them an email. And ask them, can you learn more about their expertise? Ask them, can you learn more about opportunities that they've had or an, a potential opportunity? But one thing I really enjoyed about the content that they broke down was really taking the time not to just reach out asking for something that you can directly benefit from, but reach out and be curious. Reach out wanting to find more information about that individual. Reach out and find a level of connectivity between you as well as a level of connectivity between that individual as well. So finding something and finding a place to where now you all are on the same page. And by you all being on the same page, it's like, well, wait a minute. This individual is a University of Michigan alum, and I'm currently a Michigan student athlete. You say, okay. Then on the other side, you're like, well, wait a minute. They played basketball, and I play basketball. Then you say, well, they were a student athlete, and now I see them working at a Fortune 500 company. Wow, I would love to hear more about that transition. I would love to hear when did they begin to identify that this is what they want to do. I would love to hear how they identified this should be a potential career path. And then when you get to that place and that space to where you began to ask those questions, you began to connect with those people, now you're increasing your exposure of experience. And by you having a higher exposure of experience, this now is something to where you're like, whoa, if I have more exposure and I have more experiences, then this helps me to identify what I like, what I don't like, where I potentially could see myself and where maybe I, I shouldn't really spend that much interest. I maybe shouldn't spend that much time in pursuing. So today, I really want to encourage you to create a LinkedIn profile. Even if you're a freshman, if you're a sophomore, even if you're a student athlete and you're in high school during this time, this is a pivotal time for you to create a LinkedIn profile, because the sooner you create a LinkedIn profile, the sooner you can begin to increase your network, your professional network, because LinkedIn is a professional platform. It's not necessarily like Twitter. It's not necessarily like Instagram or even Facebook. But LinkedIn is where you begin to connect with people. You have access to different articles, different blogs that people are sharing about their profession, things that interest them, things that they're doing in their company. And now you began to get in this level of professional development because you're in a professional arena. So like I said before, I attended the University of Michigan, the University of Michigan Athletics Career Center virtual boot camp that was broken down, uh, sharing takeaways and different skills and things like that by way of uh, LinkedIn. And I'm going to check to see if they've uploaded the video and then I'll share the link down in uh, the description so you all can also have access to this 
content and to this information. Uh, but I definitely want to give a major shout out to to Maurice Washington, uh, a shout out to to Cody Riffle, a shout out to Julie Fielding, and and even my man Joseph Marillo because they're all a part of the Michigan Athletics Career Center. They're doing some great things through leadership development and not just helping a student athlete be a good student athlete, but they're helping student athletes become influential citizens and they're helping them be prepared for success years after they graduate from the University of Michigan. Because I thought before that Big Blue and the University of Michigan were just doing great things in the realm of athletics. But after getting the opportunity to talk with Maurice and getting the opportunity uh, to talk a little bit with Joe and, and even Julie, I got the opportunity to see that Michigan is on the cutting edge by way of the things that they're doing for these student athletes and helping them to become bigger, brighter, and, uh, man, competitive in this arena of professionalism. Because the University of Michigan Athletics Career Center is the first Division I career center that specifically works with student athletes in their pursuit of career development. Wow. They're the first. So they're on the front of the cutting edge. And I'm not sure if you'd like to be number one. I'm not sure if you want to be the first. I would love to be the first on something like this because this is something great to tip your hat to. This is something great to be able to say, we did this first. So I definitely want to shout out uh, the University of Michigan for that. And like I said before, I'm going to see about getting the link, and I'm going to definitely share that. So you student athletes and, and even the coaches or admins who have access to this podcast, I would love that you can share this information on because this helps student athletes become champions in all other areas, not just sports. So uh, this is Jonathan Jones. And like I said before, I want to encourage you all today to create a LinkedIn profile. That's what I'm honing in on today. Creating a LinkedIn profile is something that can definitely set you up for success. So that would be first. The next thing I would encourage you to do is also find an internship. If you're earlier in your journey, if you're like, John, but I'm, I'm a freshman in high school. John, I'm a sophomore in high school. I haven't even made it to college yet. Well, then this one's for you. Then I would encourage you just to take a little bit of time and think if we just remove sports for a second, what else do you have a curiosity about? In, regarding, in regards to a career path or a career focus? Do you have a, a, a focus in entrepreneurship? Do you have a, a focus in, in business, maybe the administrative side? Do you have a focus in nonprofit? Where else do you have a focus to where you would want to learn more? Beyond Ball. That's the name of this podcast, Beyond the Ball. So let's talk a little bit. What's another focus? So... Like I said before, if, if you're further along, like if you're a freshman in college, you definitely need, need to go ahead and access, get, get that LinkedIn uh, profile. Go ahead and make that happen. Um, and then the next thing, like I said, if you're somebody's like, John, I already had a LinkedIn. What about me? Well, I would encourage you just to tighten up on that professional headshot. And then even right there on, on that, that, I believe it's called a purpose statement, the one that goes right under your name on LinkedIn. Um, and that's where you tell a little bit about what you do. If, For instance, you're a student athlete. You say, I'm a student athlete, and I am currently pursuing my degree in business administration. You can put that in there. For instance, for me and my personal profile, I have my name, boom, Jonathan Jones. And then it says, for my statement under, it says, sharing my adversities and experiences to provide life skills to student athletes for post-graduation and career success. And I have that because that's what I do. I partner with colleges, universities, by way of speaking engagements, development, and doing things like that. So that would be my statement there. And then lastly, you wanna go down to the about, and that's where you share a little bit more about yourself in your own words. You can incorporate a little bit of storytelling. And this is a powerful area because if people don't scroll all the way down your profile, 
this is an area that you want to make sure that they read. So you want to make sure to have some good stuff in there just about you, um, about what you're passionate about, you know, different things like that. I would encourage you just to browse a few other people's profiles and just see like, oh, okay, that's good. I like how they wrote that. I like how they worded that. So you can use that for some further information or a further reference point. But like I said, if you're, you know, younger, freshman, sophomore in high school, junior, senior in high school, well, maybe you might just want to spend some time and just identify what else do you have a career focus in or a deeper curiosity for you would like to know more about. I would say use that time, use this time to identify those things. Find about three areas, just three areas, three to five areas, and then just begin just to watch a little research on it. Watch a few videos on YouTube, you know. So that would be what I have for you today. Create a LinkedIn or find an internship or micro internship. Or lastly, just do a little bit of research. Find three areas of focus, three to five areas of focus, and then watch a few videos on those and see what really happens in those areas, in those arenas. Folks, my name is Jonathan Jones, and if you wanna connect with us, I would encourage you, the best way to connect with us would be going to Instagram and type in Go Beyond the Ball. And there in our header, you can click that link, and we're on iTunes, we're on Spotify, we're on Google Play, we're all down the line, we're on YouTube, and you can even like our page on Facebook. But I would encourage you just to shoot me a direct message uh, shoot me a, a tweet at Jonathan J Speaks, man, and let me know what topic I can cover for you, what topic you need for me to unpack so that I can help you transition effectively from high school athlete to college, or even if you're a college athlete seeking to transition to the professional realm, if it be professionally as an athlete, or even if it be professionally just as a, a bit, not just as, but professionally as an athlete, or professionally as a business person. So thank you everybody for taking the time to check out today's episode. This is Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones.